Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week five of Palace's Winter 2022 collection. Yes, it's that time of the week, guys. Time to cover the latest week of Palace's latest season, which for this week is going to be their fifth week of their winter 2022 collection. We're going to be covering uh, everything to do with it. The release details, the individual pieces releasing in it, and my thoughts and opinions on all the pieces and the week as a whole. Now, how we're going to cover all those details is as always, by using a Max Merch More Instagram post. We'll head on over to that post now and we'll start covering the release details for week five. Okay, so here we are at the Max Merch More Instagram post, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you guys want to check out the post yourselves. We'll quickly cover the release details for week five. So, Palace Winter 2022 Week 5 Full Expected Drop List. All items are releasing in store and online Friday, November 4th, 2022, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 11 a.m. British Standard Time for the UK online store. And of course, I think as more of a fun release, it's also releasing on November 5th for Japan and China. 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time, both in store and online. 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time on the WeChat store. I think that China and Japan got a funner release time because, you know, week five, 5th of November, but, you know, it is what it is. We get it on the 4th on the Friday. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any further questions about when and where this week is dropping, drop it in the comment section below, and I'll try and help you out the best I can there. But now that we have covered all the release details to do with week five, we gotta get into the pieces. Let's check out what we're gonna be getting in week five. So Instagram has changed its look a little bit up, but at least we can still cover it like this, guys. <laughs> so to kick it off with, we have the Politech Venta hood jacket. Uh, it's a hooded jacket, uh, Politech material. It comes in an olive, navy, and black color. It zips down the side there. On the back, it features an embossed trifog. On the front, just a little palace logo. I actually like this piece. I like it in the olive, navy, and black. Uh, I'm just like trying to ban myself as much as possible from even considering buying jackets and like heavyweight cotton, uh, sorry, heavyweight just pieces in general, because I need to start filling my wardrobe up with some summer pieces. Uh, Capital's treating me pretty well, but I need to like completely ignore heavier pieces. So this winter season isn't doing me any justice, but I definitely love that jacket. It's a really nice color, features some really nice little details there. I actually kind of wish that they just cut off all the branding or just kept maybe just like a nice little triferg on the center chest there. But it's, you know, palace being palace, they're gonna show it somewhere. Either way, solid piece. Moving forward, we have a very, very winterized piece here. We have the Pertex Frost Balaclava Puffer coming in a blue, gray, olive, orange, and black. Look, honestly, I wish all of them had, uh, con well, not contrasting balaclavas, but corresponding uh, balaclavas with each of them. So I wish that black on black, blue on blue, gray on gray, green on green, and orange on orange was the thing. I, I'm a little bit turned off having uh, contrasting balaclavas with it. So I think the black on black is my favorite color here. Um, all in all, it's not a silhouette that I would see myself rocking too much and li living in the land down under. Australia doesn't get that cold to rock something like this too often. Like, as much as Australians who live in 25 to 35 uh, to 35 degrees Celsius weather would say it, yeah, it is. No, we don't get this cold. <laughs> Maybe in some parts of Australia, sometimes in the year, but yeah, I, it's, it just doesn't happen that often. But I could definitely see some of you guys in the UK and the US getting around this more. Uh, let me know if it's a piece that you're looking to get this week. I know a lot of people are keen on it. Moving on, we have the Spell Out Chenille Hood. Uh, it's just a simple palace hoodie, but then we have this huge lettering going over the top of the hood there for it there. Look, <clears throat> I'm a fan of this in the colors that are monotone. So... The navy on navy font, the green on green font. Where they've gone with the black and gray with the multicolor, 
I think they fumbled the bag with that one. I think they should have gone monotone, keep it all one color. It looks nice with the one color scheme here. Don't know what Palace is thinking with this one. They should have gone black on black, gray on gray. Um, maybe you'll disagree. Maybe you like the uh, other colors there. But yeah, I definitely think either the navy or the olive is my favorite for that piece. And moving forward, we have the Triferg Slub Crew coming in a rust, olive, and blue. I'm not too blown away by these, but maybe if you want some colored Triferg crewnecks, these can be a thing. I honestly think there are other better pieces on page one here. Uh, I think my favorite piece this week would have to go to the Spell Out Chenille Hood in the olive or navy, or maybe the Polytech uh, hooded jacket here. Either one of those two, I'd be fine with either role, honestly. But uh, yeah, some solid pieces for page one on week five here, guys. We have three more pages to cover. Let's dive in and check out page two. We've got a couple more Triferg slub crewnecks being showcased to us here. Got it in a purple, white, black. It's not really doing too much for me. I could miss out on this one. Next we've got the Mock Neck 320 Crew coming in a bone, navy, lilac, grey. Uh, I actually don't mind this piece. I like it in the navy or the bone white. Um, the lilac and grey, I'm not too sold on it, but just a nice little uh, mock neck long sleeve there. Nice little piece. Moving on down, we have the Domino Jacquard Quarter Zip Polo in the brown, navy, or gray. I don't like this monogram print. You you really got to convince me with monogram prints, man. It's just, or like monogram designs. It's, yeah. They can come off as really gimmicky or they can come off as really nice. It's, but most of the time it's really gimmicky and just really gross looking. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it's like font monograms as well. Yeah, it's, yeah, and no, it's it's a no, it's a no. Anyway, moving on, we have the Palace Blunt hockey jersey in a blue and black. I actually don't mind it in the black. The huge Palace Blunt logo is pretty wild. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of people will be keen on that because of the huge logo, but I think it's kind of fun. On the back of it, it's got uh, London 22. I think it is. You know, 2022 brand comes from London. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Um, the blue's okay as well, but I think the black's just a better color scheme for me. But a nice little hockey jersey releasing this week. I'm sure a lot of you guys are keen on that one. Moving on, we have the Politech Laser Bucket Hat. Uh, same premise as the Politech jacket before, coming in the same colors as well. I'm actually more of a fan of the jacket over the bucket hats here, but I could see a lot of you guys getting around the bucket hats for sure. Uh, they're just not for me. But yeah, that is everything releasing on page two of week five, guys. I think my favorite pieces from page two would either be the mock necks or the hockey jerseys there. Um, yeah, some okay pieces on page two. The Triferg Slub uh, crew neck and the uh, Domino Jacquard quarter zip polo. Yeah, yeah. There's some hits and some misses on page two for sure. But now that we've covered page two, let's go check out page three. Okay, so we have, uh, uh, starting off on page three, we have the M-Tech Shell Running Hat, uh, featured in a very washed out red, an olive cheetah, a black, um, uh, and that's it, actually. That's the last color, black, cheetah, and red. Uh, these feature a, um, not the traditional but, uh, tightening mechanism, but a, a drawstring, essentially, for the back of it, to tighten it at the back there. Just to prepare you guys so it's a little bit more of as it's kind of selling itself as a little bit more of like a running cap um i can get around with that i actually think this is an all right cap moving forward we have the palace london monogram pal hat coming in a blue navy and black yeah i'm not too keen on it honestly it's it's okay it does remind me very much of um more american style sports hats but yeah i'm not blown away by this one anyway moving forward we have the Politech laser beanie uh, it's the Politech beanie with the laser print um, palace logo on the bottom there, coming in some very similar colors to what the jacket that we saw coming in. I like this. I like this beanie. It's a fun little beanie, Politech beanie. Keep your head nice and warm. Could definitely need that with this very little hair up here these days. <laughs> uh, so Politech beanie, let's go. Uh, yeah, Olive, I'll get around it. I can get around that one. Uh, yeah, but that is it for page three, guys. Lots of hats this uh, page. Uh, I think I'd have to give it to the Politech uh, beanie for my favorite hat out of this page here, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, now that we've covered page three, let's move on to page four. It's just the Politech beanie coming in a black, 
features the crochet beanie coming in a camo, a woodland camo, a grey camo, and we've got the Polytech beanie making an appearance in a like a lilac purple here. Yeah, I would have to say that my favorite hat on page four is definitely going to the Polytech beanie in the black. I like that one there. The crochet stuff's all right, but I'd probably only wear the, the urban gray camo. The other two, not for me. But yeah, uh, that is everything on page four, guys. Let me know your favorite piece from page four. Uh, again, I'll reiterate, it's the Polytech black beanie for me. But that all in all is everything releasing in page five, uh, sorry, in week five. So um, yeah, I mean, it's got some heavy hitters on page one, for sure. Um, page two had some hit and misses. Page three was a lot of caps where, and I mean, it all really it all depends on your personal style here, because, you know, maybe you wear a lot of sportswear and something like this would look really good with some sportswear. Maybe you're more into running wear and, you know, active wear. So something like this, this type of silhouette would work more with you. Or maybe you just, maybe just like beanies. <laughs> and maybe the beanie would work. That's kind of me. Um, same here. And the crochet stuff, maybe if you're into crochet stuff, but yeah. I don't know. Uh, I think, yeah, there's definitely some hits here, definitely some misses. Uh, not the most craziest of weeks, but I, definitely some pieces here that a lot of people have been waiting uh, all season to pick up. So hopefully those people waiting all season so far can pick up these pieces that they want from it. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on week five, guys. Is it a hit for you? Is it a miss for you? Are you going for anything from Supreme instead because week five isn't hitting for you? I'd love to hear what your thoughts and opinions are on it down in that comment section below. But there we go, guys. Uh, that is everything to be said about week five of Palace's Winter 2022 collection. Um, it's releasing on November 4th for most of the world, November 5th for Japan and China. Uh, we covered all the seasonal pieces releasing in it, and we covered my thoughts and opinions on all those pieces. Now I want to hear from you guys on what your favorite pieces are, but I more importantly want to hear what you're going to be picking up from week five. Are you going to be picking up any of the jackets, any of the hats? Let me know what you're going to be picking up and what size and color down in that comment section below. And of course, guys, if you want to keep covering upcoming Palace Weeks, collabs, seasons, all that good stuff, you got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, is subscribe to the channel. As mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,485 subscribers before the end of November. I feel like with your guys' continuous support, we can reach the milestone. You know, you tell a couple mates, they tell a couple mates. I think we can hit it before the end of the, uh, the month, hopefully. With your guys' continuous support, where you can reach that milestone before the end of November. But that is everything I got to say about this fifth week of Palace's Winter 2022 season. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for something this week. I hope you managed to pick up that piece in the size and color you are after. But until the next Palace video, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Drop List video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.